So let's go ahead and review together question number eight on the TSI official practice test. It says Richard bought three slices of cheese pizza and two sodas for eight seventy five. Jordan brought two slices of pizza and four sodas for eight fifty. How much would an order of one slice of cheese pizza and three sodas cost? So ultimately, um, we're gonna want to know how much pizza costs. And we want to know how much sodas cost. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my little box in the corner of my page. And now I'm going to write a statement for Richard. And then I'm going to make a statement for Jordan. So on my piece of paper, I'm going to write Richard. And then I'm going to write Jordan. So Richard bought three slices of pizza. So I'm going to write 3P. And represents an or addition two sodas, so 2S, four, which is an equal sign, equals 875. Now we're gonna do the same thing for Jordan. Okay, so Jordan bought two slices of pizza, so 2P, and, which is an addition sign, four sodas, and that is four, equal sign, $8.50. Okay. So now that we have two statements, one for Richard and one for Jordan, if you look at these, they both have two different variables, P and S. So normally we're dealing with equations that only have one variable in it. And when there's only one variable in it, it's easy to solve for that one variable. But when you have two variables in one equation, it's difficult to solve for one or the other. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to take this equation and this equation and we're going to combine the equations. And what we're going to do is we're going to hope that when we combine these equations that either variable P or variable S disappears. So what do I mean by that? If you're getting a little bit intimidated, it's okay. I'm going to show you guys. So the way that we're going to combine it is we're going to add the P's together. We're going to add the S's together, and then eventually we're going to also add these numbers that are by themselves together. And what we're going to hope for is that when we add this box or this box, either the P's are going to disappear and cancel each other out, or the S's are going to cancel each other out and disappear. Well, what do you have to do in order to make something disappear? So you have to have the opposite. So if I have 3P on the top, I have to have negative 3p on the bottom. When they add them together, they equal zero. So in a sense, they cancel each other out. Or if I had negative 4p on the top and positive 4p on the bottom, when I add them together, they equal zero. So they cancel each other out. So in either this first box or the second box, we have to create the same scenario. When you add them together, they disappear. So. Let's go ahead and try that for the S's. We're gonna to try to make the S's disappear. So in order to make the S's disappear, we need to have the same number on the top and the bottom, just with a different sign. So in this case, we would want a negative 4S on the top and a positive 4S on the bottom. Since it's already positive on the bottom, that's why I chose a negative on the top. Okay, well, what do I have to do in order to get positive 2S what do I have to multiply it against to get negative 4s? Well, 2s times negative 2 would equal negative 4s. So that must mean that I have to multiply the entire top equation by negative 2 in order to get negative 4s in that box. So let's go ahead and do that. We're multiplying everything in that top equation by negative 2. So we're going to go ahead and we're not going to try to be geniuses. If you need a calculator, go ahead and use a calculator. The nice thing is that um, on a lot of these questions, you are allowed to use a calculator. So negative 2 times 3 would be negative 6p. Negative 2 times 2s would be negative 4s. And then go ahead in your calculator, 875 times negative 2. That would be negative 1750. Now we're gonna go ahead and just bring down the second equation. 2P plus 4S is equal to 850. And we're gonna go ahead and combine them now. We're gonna combine the P's 
we're going to combine the s's and we're going to combine these numbers at the end and hopefully the s's will disappear so negative 6p plus 2p is equal to negative 4p negative 4s plus 4s they cancel each other out and you no longer have anything and negative 1750 plus 850 is equal to negative 9. okay so then we're going to solve for p we now only have one variable it's very easy to solve for one variable we want to get the p by itself what's causing the p to not be by itself that negative 4. so you ask yourself what is happening now right now the negative 4 is being multiplied by the p so in order to get rid of the negative 4 you need to do the opposite of multiplication which is division so we're going to divide both sides by negative 4. so p is going to be equal to 2.25 and again we're talking about pizza and the cost of pizza so a cost of one slice of pizza is two dollars and 25 cents so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the cost of pizza in our box two dollars and 25 cents the reason why I really love this box in the corner is because when you do all of this, sometimes you can end up forgetting why you were doing it in the first place. It's just so much work. It's so much th thinking about eliminating and multiplying and dividing and then trying to get the variable by itself. And then once you finally get a number, you're like, what was I trying to do in the first place? But if you have this box in the corner, you can go ahead and put what you got for P and then you are reminded what to do next. We have to figure out what S is equal to. So how do we figure out what S is equal to? You take the original equation, 3P plus 2S is equal to 875. And now instead of writing what P, instead of writing the P, we can write what P is equal to. So P is equal to 225. So we're just gonna insert that into the equation. And if you look at that, Again, you now only have one variable to solve for. So let's go ahead and solve for this. So three times 225, you can go ahead and put that into your calculator if you need, but that is equal to 675 plus 2s is equal to 875. So we're gonna subtract 675 from both sides. You're gonna be left with 2s is equal to two. To solve for s, right now the s is being multiplied by 2. So to get rid of that 2, you divide. So s is equal to 1. Again, what are we talking about? We're talking about soda and the price of soda. So soda must equal a dollar each. So again, we're going to go back to our box and we're going to write $1. So now we know how much pizza costs and now we know how much soda costs. So now when they say, well, how much would an order of one slice of pizza and three sodas cost? We can figure that out. So one slice of pizza, one P, and plus three sodas, three S. How much is that equal to? Just insert how much is pizza, 225, plus how much is so a soda is a dollar, and see what that is equal to. So one times 225 is 225. Three times a dollar would be $3, and that would equal 525. So our answer would be B. All right, so two things I wanna let you guys know. Don't give up on these types of questions because although they take a while to do, if you do them over and over again, you'll be able to be more successful. But I am gonna leave the link to my practice test um, in the description box. If you wanna practice this type of question again and again, that's why it would be good to purchase my practice test so that you can go ahead and just try it over and over again. Very similar problems, but same, same concept, but it allows you to do the same concept, the same steps on a different problem to make sure that you really got it. And then also I'm in the works of putting together my first TSI um, course. So I am in the works of making a course for you guys. So if you look in the description box and you see a course, then that means it's finished and I put it in there. If it's not finished yet, then you may not see it yet. But hopefully one day, maybe in a month or so, you'll be able to have access to my course as well. So I hope you guys, um, I hope this video has helped you guys to study and just keep, keep, um, keep up to date.
because I'm going to be posting more videos with each individual question on the original TSI practice test. Thanks for everything, guys. See you in the next one.